We now ask that you please turn off all cell phones. Thank you. Senior Group Manager, Public Relations, Hyundai Motor America, Jim Trainer. Good morning. A special welcome to all our journalists, friends, bloggers, and all you enthusiasts who came out to hear from us today. SEMA is a place where innovation never stops. We're here in part to soak up the atmosphere, to inspire creativity, to give feedback from you and the SEMA community. In fact, I'd like you all to meet the executive who leads our product development at Hyundai Motor America. He's our director of product planning, Scott Margison. Scott will be with us today, and uh, please feel free to uh, reach out to him after uh, today's presentation. We also invite you to join the conversation on Twitter. Tell us what you think about our cars and other news. It's at hashtag Hyundai SEMA. We've got five vehicles for you, developed with our tuner partners. But first, we have some additional news to share. It's pretty exciting to us, and we hope to all of you, too. Today, we're proud to announce our first ever factory crate engine program. Why now? Our Genesis Coupe first went on sale in 2009, so there are a number of cars entering the used car market now. With their rear drive layout, they make a great starting point for tuners and grassroots racers. And we intend to make their projects just a little more affordable by offering competition-proven Lambda V6 at a discounted tip price. This is a direct injected engine displacing 3.8 liters in stock form, and it's now being offered as a kit for $9,000. That's a 25% savings versus the individual parts cost of the engine block and sub-assemblies. Now, let's take a look at one tuner's vision for this engine. Sight unseen, this car has garnered tons of press because of some pretty amazing output figures. To reveal it, please welcome the founder of BC Motor Engineering, BC Ezreal Ha. All right, DC, everyone's talking about this car for one reason, power. So let me ask you, how much power and why this engine? You know, the uh, BC Moto Hyundai Genesis made 1,022 horsepower. And you know, what's interesting is, before you even think about making that kind of power, you have to have a very stout basis. And the Hyundai Lambda engine really provided me that strong platform to be able to build upon and create an amazing, reliable power. So I think everyone believes that number, but can you pop the hood and show us what you got? Absolutely. Now I understand there are a lot of internal upgrades and turbochargers. Yes, they are. As a matter of fact, to be able to create this beautiful power, above and beyond having a customized BC Moto Twin Turbo Kit, we have billet turbochargers from Turbonetics. We have very strong connecting rods from r, &R made it to some various pistons. Above and beyond that with valve train from Supertech, we were very, very excited about incorporating a unique engine management system from AEM called Infinity, which does a great job in controlling all the fuel and ignition parameters. Combining that with some amazing VP fuel and also some camshafts designed and developed in-house, we were able to extract some amazing power and create an opportunity for an engine that makes tons of great power with also some protection from a lubrication um, component from Purell. 
So that being said, it's a great engine, makes lots of power, and sounds fantastic as well. Well, it looks great inside and out. And now this car also features lots of chassis tuning, track safety gear, and a very nice understated pay scheme. So thanks to you and BC Engineering, you know, all your cars are just fantastic. I hope you'll be with us throughout today to, uh, to talk to all the enthusiasts who want to learn more. Thank you. I want to make a point, too. We have our USB drives for all the media. Uh, please take one of those before you leave today. And also check us out at HyundaiNews.com. Let me take that. So, let's take a look at another Genesis Coupe. Uh, featuring the same Lambda V6. Please welcome the project lead for Mark Performance, Larry Liu. I know it's called Legato, but tell me, what's up with that name? Well, Legato is an Italian musical term. Um, that means a smooth and seamless integration between the notes. Um, that's exactly what we've done with the Legato concept. Um, you know, the Genesis Coupe has really nice lines, and we wanted to just pop it out that much more. Um, and so, you know, the idea was to give it the, uh, the look and feel of an exotic GT concept. Well, it looks great. Can you point out just a few of the modifications? Sure. Um, just starting with the exterior, uh, almost every body panel of the Genesis Coupe was changed to the Legato uh, concept that will be later put into production. Um, one of the main things uh, that we really concentrated on this year was the interior. Um, so it's very technologically advanced and driver oriented. So we started with the GT steering wheel out of an F1 car. Uh, we completely did the digital dash um, to show you every bit and piece of the car while you're driving the car. Um, and also the center multimedia center, we made it so that it is within perfect reach of the driver. So it makes everything uh, very easy and accessible for the driver. Um, That's great, Larry. Thank you very much. Will you stay with us today and uh, talk to some of our folks when we're done? Yeah, I will okay. Do. Thank you very much. Let's shift gears a little bit away from the Land of E6 and take a look at two very creative takes on another Hyundai vehicle front drive Veloster. Please welcome VP OEM Sales for EGR Group, Brendan McGrath. Uh, wow. Uh, what was the vision uh, with the EGR Veloster Turbo, Brendan? We wanted to take it to the track. Uh, the, the first thing we needed to do was, was widen the stands. We developed this wide body kit uh, in 30 days for this car. It's a ABS kit, not fiberglass, bolts onto the fender, just, and the, it allows us to run a 10 inch DPE three piece wheel all around. The, uh, and Proxys Ultra Blades. Creations of Chrome did a great job in a, a cage for the car, and PPG and Barry Speed Shop came up with this amazing color we developed. We called it Yellow Cake as a reference to the color of uranium ore and the radioactive bright look of the car. I'm going to guess it's going to be pretty hard to miss even at night. Uh, tell us a little bit about the major changes uh, and, you know, how did you really decide on this color? We wanted to make sure that no one could miss it. And then in the sun, it's even brighter than this. So you won't, you won't miss in the day and the night time with 180 lights. We also have Wharton bars on the top, so then the canyons are on the track. You'll see it coming, you'll see it going. That's great. Uh, thanks to the entire EGR team, and thank you, Brendan. Glad to have you with us today. Thank you. Now let's take a look at another Veloster to tell us all about this one. Please welcome from Fox Marketing, Brian Fox. Hello. Yeah, so this is the uh, 2013 Hyundai Veloster Turbo, and, and the vision behind this car was to really show what the 1.6 liter gamma motor could do, Jim. So we were able to set a horsepower record of 370 real horsepower, so that's 425 horsepower to the crank. So it's more than doubling the stock motor, and uh, it's I, I drove it about 20, 125 miles before we got to SEMA, and the tune is outstanding drivability. I was very impressed being all the cars I've done in the past. And uh, wow, that's all I can say about so that. So that, uh, that 370 is with 93 octane though, right? Actually, that's with VP Racing Fuel. Uh, the 370 with the 93 octane, it was 315 horsepower at the wheels. So we definitely had a performance gain there. 
So how about some chassis upgrades to keep it under control, what you do? Right, so we did X bracing on underneath the car from Import Shark. We did arc performance coilovers. Uh, we have a really cool set of uh, WP 14 inch Levy rotors with carbon fiber duct brakes for stopping because safety is important. And then went inside, it's got a seats, harnesses, all the goodies. And check out that flop. Amazing yeah, that's, car, Brian. that's a little uh, special paint job. Me and I work for a paint manufacturer, BASF, so it's called Sky Aqua Pearl. So you can see the mint green will flop really uh, with, with a blue pearl. And I'm telling you, it was like, uh, you can't even look at it outside. It's extremely bright. It's great. It looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we've already talked about our very first crate engine, the 3.8 liter Lando V6. But one size does not fit all projects. So we've got another engine to show you right now. <laughs> We're launching our crate engine program with another power plant option, the Theta 2.0. This is the base engine found in the Genesis Coupe. For builders who want to add their own choice of turbo and intercooler, we'll be offering a turbo-ready version for just $4,500. Tuners who want the full turbo-equipped engine, including turbocharger, intercooler, and intake, can get it all for just $6,000. In either case, both of our crate engines include intake manifolds, ignition coils, injectors, and fuel delivery assemblies. So this is a great value for, hope for folks who want a more compact, turbocharged motor for their projects. Now, let's see an example of a car powered by the Thater 2.0 turbo. Please welcome its creator, John Panklina. I stayed up all night trying to make sure I got your name right. Incredible car and another stunning color. We remember your, uh, you know, your car last year, the matching shoes. It was wonderful, and you've done it again. Tell us a little bit about a little bit about the car. Thank you. This is Atlantis Blue Metallic Paint from BASF. Tell me about the the guiding idea behind the car. What what, did, what were you thinking when you got the uh, the project? The overall concept of this car was to build a car for the enthusiast. I wanted to build something that was aspirational yet obtainable for the everyday enthusiast for daily driving, for show purposes, because usually you only have one vehicle in your life, in your lifestyle. So this is it. This is it. everything from upgraded more racing wheels to Brembo brakes for stopping power. Um, you know, very high quality products were used in this vehicle from the Ricardo racing seats in the in the interior to the Alpine um, sound system, so everything here is uh, just top-notch products. How about the engine? For the engine, I wanted to, you know, the turbo from Honda is very, it's very reliable, very solid, so I didn't really want to mess with it too much, so I wanted to use um, just affordable upgrades. Uh, so we have an AEM cold air intake, uh, turbo downpipe from Art Performance along with an Art Performance exhaust. Excellent. Thanks for being with us again this year. It's a pleasure. We also have with us today a competitor who has done more than anyone in this country to prove the capability of Hyundai Power. He earned the, he earned the nickname Mad Skills in Drift Competition. He's a two-time King of the Hill at Pike Speak International Hill Climb. One of the world's top precision drivers. You've seen a lot of TV commercials. And he's a good friend of mine. A great champion of Hyundai Power. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Reese Miller. So, I remember giving you the keys to a Genesis Coupe after the New York Auto Show a number of years ago. That became your first competition car, and we had no idea what all the things were going to be that you did in that car, right? That's the story? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, 2008, I uh, wasn't too sure of my motorsport programs with the current manufacturer that I was with then. And I uh, walked into Hyundai and said, you know, I've heard of this new Genesis Coupe. Uh, here it comes with a fantastic displacement engine, and I think we can do great things with it. We built a SEMA car out of it, and then we turned that car into a race car, and go, uh, entering into the Formula Drift Championship, and uh, winning various titles there, and continuing on to Pikes Peak, with myself winning in the car in 2009 Time Attack Division, overall in 2012. My father, Rod Mellon, driving the car in 2011. 
And then most recently this year, establishing a new world record at uh, Pikes Peak in the Time Attack Division with Paul Dollenbach driving. So it's a great testament to the chassis with multiple drivers behind the wheel and the power of the Hyundai Lambda V6. It's just amazing to me after all this time, it looks like the car's ever been scratched, dented, bumped. So is that how it always comes out of the races? Uh, we have a budget so we can repair a few things. It's definitely met the wall at Irwindale and a couple of other places uh, more than once. But uh, that's what you have to do to win. Um, you know, again, uh, an incredible car and a diverse background of motorsport, time attack, drifting, uh, and, and running Pikes Peak, and various videos around the world, uh, also been to Brazil for some Red Bull treatments, so it's, it's just a great testament to not only the handling characteristics, but again, the, the power and reliability. Well, you've been a good friend to uh, Hyundai and to Hyundai at SEMA, so great to have you back again. So you're just in town, what, gambling a little bit? Anything else going on while you're here? Uh, we are in town, uh, outside of running the, the beautiful Genesis Coupe behind us. Um, we're also running the Hyundai Veloster Turbo in the final round of the Global Rallycross Championship. Uh, it's running out uh, about four miles south of here on the Strip by the Luxor. Uh, come out and you'll see all the, all the top names and top drivers. We'll have two cars out there. Four-wheel drive, 600 horsepower, 580 foot-pounds of torque. An incredible way to uh, earn a living. Okay, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Reese Millen. Congratulations to all the tuners on their amazing work. By the way, there are many other Hyundai vehicles on display. Be sure to check them out at Toyo Treadway, EGR, Catskin, U-Tune, and the Wabasto exhibits. One last note for you Walking Dead fans. You may have noticed that living people prefer Hyundais. To celebrate our connection to the world of the undead and the 10th anniversary of the Walking Dead universe, we invited fans to design their own zombie survival machines using the Walking Dead Chop Shop application. Out of more than 82,500 submissions, one special design was chosen by the creator of The Walking Dead, Robert Kirkman. The winner was Anso Quo from Arizona. He turned an we turned Anson's design into an actual Santa Fe zombie fighter. It's on display here at Seaman, the photo behind me outside of Central Hall, complete with the undead models. Be sure to check it out, it's a great photo op. And even though the contest is over, we'd love to see your zombie-proof vehicle design. Head over to walkingdeadshopshop.com and get the app. Now before we turn you loose and get a closer look, please know that all of our tutors are here to answer your questions. Reese Miller will be here as well. And I'll be here leaning heavily on the expertise of my colleague, the team lead for the Hyundai Crate Engine, Mike Knight. So Mike, stand up, people wave. There's Mike, if you want any, any questions on the Crate Engine program. So that, thank you very much for being here. Coming up and taking a closer look.